Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got some special guests in the building. We have Little Mo. Good morning. And her husband, Is Dynamite Mo's K.O. Come no. what's up? My name is Little Mo's husband. Little Mo's what husband. You just hit some cushions. Charlamagne just tried to Sheesh. poison you. What happened? That 1738 woke you up? I think he gave him some rubbing alcohol. <laughs> yeah, what was that? 1738. Oh. Like by Fetty Wapin? 83. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> 1383. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's a little Mo's husband now. Yeah. We were just uh, watching, uh, I guess, the... Marriage boot camp. No, yeah. no, it wasn't marriage boot camp. That was the, the, uh, the post-conference post after Adrian oh. Rona lost to Manny Pacquiao. And, you I'm know, not accepting no slander. Uh, y'all can call me biased so, or whatever, but I'm not mad. So you mad think at you what, won? though? Y'all got to... All right, listen. Okay, from a boxer's point of view... You're a boxer. Right. You get busy. <laughs> Yes, Pacquiao was way much busier, much busier. Mm -hmm. But you you can't really count punches that land on the arms or on the gloves, even though it's it's he's busier. Right. You feel me? Everybody know Pacquiao punches hard. Everybody know that. Mm -hmm. He rocked Brona a couple you times. Yeah, in that I'm fight, not saying though. he didn't. I'm not saying he didn't hurt him or whatever. But from the from the, from the, from from a boxer's point of view, it's like okay, you land in arm shots like. We don't count those. But, but as a like, fan, as a fan point of view, it's like, oh, yeah, you're getting the shit beat out of you. Well, who, who, won? Who, won? who won? Who would you give that fight to? I mean, I, I give it to uh, Pacquiao, Pacquiao, but okay. I can understand why he say, yeah, he won, because some people actually gave it a draw. And that other no ball way. that was fighting before, his whole you head know, was open. Like, it was blood well, all over Well, that was a headbutt. That don't even count. Yeah, that was a headbutt. Yeah, that was a headbutt. Head I was wondering yeah, what was going yeah, on. I mean, he, he only did. landed 56 punches the whole, the whole fight. fight. Who? Broda. Adrian Broda. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, <he's> a, you <laughs> know you ain't gonna win <laughs> no fight. I don't know how that happens. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. But how does that happen? 56 punches in one round. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I ain't but saying, but, but at the end of the day, when I was at the fight, I'm like, <clears throat> I'm looking, but it's a different, I gotta watch it on TV. It looked bad I on TV. Be able to, I and I was rooting for Broner. I gotta watch it on TV. I was rooting for him, because I want to see the brother win, but right. nah. I think I think what would have leveled him up and he would have got the popular vote is if he came out with Soldier Boy. That's what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. Because he's because I guess like Broner's to the point now because he's like family to us, but he's to the point now where people are actually paying now to go see him lose because he's become the he's become I guess like the the, the villain. villain at this point. He is the villain, and it's like you are either the good guy or the villain. There's no more in between. Social media has eliminated the in between and the middleman. So people. But when we were there, like, just look at the whole crowd. The, there, I didn't see many of us there. Right. So mm -hmm. the whole crowd was, like, it was, like, a lot of Asian, <laughs> Filipino, yeah. and stuff Filipino, like that. They, so they I was just Vegas. like, yes. Yeah, the fights in Vegas are kind of always like that. Yeah, yeah they, it's, they, it's, they, it's they, a lot they, of our presence wasn't it. there. It's nothing wrong with being the bad guy. It's good when people, you know, come watch you, want to see you lose. Yeah, yeah. Floyd's the bad guy when but he fights. But you got to yeah. win. But he wins. You know what it is? Because they say he talks so heavy, he be capping so much, and they was like, you know, he talks a good game, but... Um, he said, because they, you've known him since he was like eight years old, because mm -hmm. he's actually a twin, but they say he's always been that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, Bro, I feel like we're like, eulogizing he's him. He's always like, been that way, God, not, he's not just being disrespectful cool. to, to AB. That's my guy, but at tournament, he was like the, almost like the class clown. Like, we, you, like if we if we want to have, if we want to laugh, if we want to have fun, we go get with twin. We call Got him you. twin. We go yeah. get with him. We want to have fun. Out, we want to laugh. You know, we go get with twin. I gotcha. mean, he's been like that his whole life. A lot of people think he's putting on a show to people that don't know him, but that's just him. So now, <laughs> let's get right into it. Lil Mo, okay. mm -hmm. why don't you respect my guy Dynamite Carl, man? Man. Why don't you respect him, man? Do, no let's, be, let's be real. Do I be disrespecting my husband, or do I put on a show? Nope. I mean, in person, you respect him, but when I watch Barrett's boot camp, I said, man. After we drank a whole limit, bottle. You, when I watched uh, it, too. After we drank a whole bottle of liquor, and then we was there a couple of days before that, and they lock you in the room with no goddamn key, no I contact with the outside the world. We ain't know where the fuck we was, and that damn room the hotel that was the real shit so by the time we got to that house I was just like let me just go ahead and let them know why I'm gonna be so mad this whole time but at the end of the day one thing with us is we are not gonna try to well a lot of people and I'm not saying for this show a lot of people get on camera and they act different mm -hmm. and 
one thing about us is that we, we act accordingly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm not going to be sitting up here acting like I don't be yelling back. Yeah, I have a smart mouth. My Napoleon complex, it kicks in. I go off. But at the end of the day, this motherfucker can fight. And he I'm not going to hit his wife, though. You're not going to hit no, a woman. No, he's not going to hit me. But at the end of the that's day, you just know. So, you, that's like, why she be on a hundred all the time. It's a cat. And that's I already know. on a hundred all the time. If it's a whole audience and a whole room full of people, he ain't going to do Like, he's not going to. He's going to be like, okay. Did you feel like you guys needed marriage boot camp because you were having problems? I think with marriage boot camp, honestly, I think anybody yeah. that's in a committed relationship should have some type of, because nobody goes to counseling anymore. Nobody, everybody puts everything on social media, so it's eliminated, you know, everything. You know, people used to go to their pastor and say, pastor, we going ah. through problems, but then the pastor start having sex with the wife or the husband, whatever the case may be. I didn't think we needed so, it, but. I think we did. After, but I'm saying before we went, I was like, man, we don't need this, we don't need this shit, man, fuck that. Like, A lot of times I mean? people but dust then stuff Afterwards, the I'm like, damn. You, you probably needed this sooner yeah. than we did. So it why, did help. Why did you introduce yeah. yourself with Lil Mo husband though? Huh? Because that's what they did the on the show. He didn't see that. But show. no, yeah. honestly, they're like that's what that was what social you know the social mean? media they started that. Like people like oh no they be saying oh nobody know who you are um you little mo's husband that's your title so they gave it to him so it's just like oh, okay I, little mo's I mean you are little mo's husband yeah right. but that ain't your title. I ain't, look, I don't, it, it's not that deep to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not that deep it's, to me. It's, so it's I mean, rare that you dynamite's it, it, wife. Yeah, that's what yeah. I said in my freestyle. We did a freestyle yeah, battle, the, yeah, and battle. I was like, the yeah. rap battle. And I killed that job. They ain't yeah, picked yeah, my whole just, joint, man. They, they ain't got to do it. Miles is the best. Like, we need to package that. They ain't picked my whole joint. My joke was lit. With um, with that freestyle, I was just like, and I, t I tell him all the time. I said, I hate on so I hate I hate social media. It's the devil, but it's a marketing tool. You mm -hmm. get some couple dollars off it, so I get it. But at the end of the day, that's what that's the name that people on the internet, and we know in the internet say it, it's the truth. It's not a lie. Sometimes I log on the internet to see what I did wrong because people <laughs> would tell me about Ooh. myself and I just be getting out of bed and I just like, oh, word, I'm I did that yesterday. That's what's up. What time it is. Like, them motherfuckers be getting on me talking about, what is you doing searching now? I said, bitch, it's my name. Right. Like, people is just weird. Like, that I'm stuff not good for your mental health, though, Mo. It, it, it my just stress you health. off for no damn reason. No, Thank because you. sometimes you just have to know what you're up against when you step outside because me, I'm so detached from reality. Like, I don't be giving a fuck. I, I'm... I think this industry has made me not only heartless, emotionless. Like, people be like, what you think about this? I said, I don't give a fuck, but... Because I have to give an answer, I'll be like, yeah, like none of this shit don't make me cry. I mean, I just don't think this reality though. Like, I think that ninety five percent of what on exists on this it don't exist in the real world. I bet you if yeah, exactly. I pick up, if I, I Google your name man. right now, people will say all this crazy stuff, but they've never met you a date in life. But a lot of people that's, will fall but, for it and think that's that's the law. Right, need, but is it gonna change how you act anyway? Like, you know what I tell me? her? Yeah, yeah, you know what I tell her? I say. Them people in there that saying bullshit or whatever, you don't know them from a can of paint. I said, well, what they think about us is none of our business. That's but real. at the end of the day, a lot of people started saying crazy none stuff. And I told you, but, before we got <sighs> together, I was like, listen, your your life There's is going to change. The it. dynamic is going to change. You can do about people are going to add extras. There's and so I said, but I told you, I said, if somebody, listen, before, before people start saying stuff, is there anything you need to let me know? Is there anything you need to tell me? Because people try to, I, you get the representative first, then you get the real person, what is it, like 21 days after or six months after, whatever they say. Hmm. Because I don't date forever. You know I me, mean? we go together, we get murdered. That's me, it. I, get murdered. Oh, I've, never, I've never, like, after my, in my old relationships, all I did was after six to nine months is a wrap. So I like, didn't even have plans. Like I, said, I never so even passed that. What's so you just knew you had a nine month window. Yeah, uh, nine month boom, and I'm gone. And me at six weeks, Period. and we ain't talking marriage. We ain't talking. <laughs> so damn it. So <laughs> yeah, I've never so been. You know, you, like people go on dates and be casually dating. Like yeah, so what we have you, Peter. Where do you work? What made you want to stay with Mo? Yeah, how you know Mo was the one? I don't one? know. Cause um, <clears throat> I was I was on her top since I was like fifteen. 15. And don't start I no, first met her at, like, well, with no, no what happened was going on. I had this uh uh, uh my uh, my cousin, he used to manage a guy named Murder Mill, he used to be signing job records back in the day, mm -hmm. back in like 2000, 2001. So one of my homies at back on the block was like, yo, yo, your man Mill ain't better than Fab, ain't better than Fab. I'm like, well, who the fuck is this Fab dude? Mm -hmm. Whatever. So I wound up seeing a video. I'm like, man, fuck Fab. Who shorty with the fat ass? Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> he saw the super women video. Yeah, so my yeah. cousin was, was in the street, so I was like, yo, you got to book her. Book her to the city <laughs> so I can bag her or whatever. I'm like 15 at the time, 15, 16. So he wound up booking her or whatever, but something happened. The firebox should shut it down. They still owe me yeah, my back so. ass. So to this day, he, he, sells, me, he, he sells me $2,500. So you hollered at Mo when you were 16? 
about. She never, what's it for two? I had, I, was I had just had my first kid. I was I like, I was dude, 15. like my I shit. No, I was sixteen. Over. I was sixteen. Whoa, 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 wait a minute now, Mo Kelly. What was going on? Nope. No. <laughs> Don't give me that, Roberta. Uh. Don't give me no Roberta. <laughs> no, because I was still. I was. That was like my first marriage, and I was just like he was like a young boy. So I was like, you know, hey, how you doing? Keep it moving. Then what's I up, seen Scrat? her again on the Rock the Mic tour when it came. To that was oh five. How old you then? About uh, 17. No, I'm just kidding. No, I was 05. Who says 2019? I was God. 19. Oh, all right. So she was age. Age. Yeah, I was 19, age. but she was yeah. she was still locked down. So I'm like, yo, Mo, what up? She like, By that time, I had another kid. I'm like, damn. Like, but Mo stayed locked down, too. Yeah, I've you been married and forever. Now, let me ask you this. So on the show, they also address these uh, infidelity allegations. Yeah. You said women always hitting you up, saying this, saying that. Oh, they be sending me screenshots of receipts. I be like, what the fuck did you do? These people, he says, oh, you me- you believe a stranger before you That's believe right. me. That's right. I'm like, Black men don't cheat. No, Black but do one thing, cheat. I can say one thing. I can was, tell you one thing. <laughs> Y'all walk I can tell you <laughs> one thing. Drake inspired like, it's motherfuckers, flesh-toned like, niggas. <laughs> <laughs> it be sometimes, it be motherfuckers, it be motherfuckers that I ain't seen or heard in like, yeah, and they be like, oh, no, I don't understand that, but you know, me and me and Dynamite used Yo. to deal with each other. We used to this, that, and third. And I be like, All right, oh, like, okay. I said, well, the, I know he used to be a whore, but I mean, fuck? damn. So you're not cheating now is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. You ain't <laughs> been cheating since you've been with Mo. He said, I didn't say all that. <laughs> no. Black men don't cheat, Dynamite. <laughs> tell the truth. You ask me, are you telling me? I'm tell telling you black men yeah, don't of cheat. Of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, tell the truth. That's all I be like. That's, that's all I ask is to tell the truth because people with the internet, like. Y'all seen this show? We, they all, the show get real. A lot of tech tests. Yeah, test, we, up to, uh, we up to week three. Every, what, 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 wait, what are they asking during the lot of tech test? Everything. Everything. Like when pass or fail. Have you ever cheated? We will uh, see. Yeah, you know, we got, because we don't know what week that come on. Now, what about little Mo cheating on you? Because. I ain't it, worried about that. You not? Okay, because nah. she said. And she he ain't going to never like, find out because my niggas don't tell. I ain't worried about that. You took a lot of tech to tell. You say them yeah. niggas don't tell. Yeah, Listen, yeah these one girls One thing about me, I ain't, I ain't, I mean, I ain't, I ain't worried about that. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, she, she ain't, she ain't going to flirt with the situation like that. But Mo just said that <laughs> the niggas ain't gonna talk. Or you ain't listen, gonna talk. Gonna tell. Listen, niggas don't tell. Niggas don't listen, post that's stuff fine. on the internet. That's fine. But I always tell her, listen. Long as nothing come to me, nothing long as nothing come to me. You and whoever is is safe. My attention span is <laughs> like that, that takes time, mm. and it's not even a fact about cheat. It's just like when bitches be, oh, and then this nigga pay for my nails. Well, I that's like I know you lying now. The thing about it is, what I tell what I tell Mo, and I think I think this is with most majority of women, like. Men, we can go out, have sex with a woman, don't know her name, don't know, don't give That's a weird shit to about, me. don't give a shit about her. That's weird. When women have sex with a man, her her feelings is in it. Well, first uh, of all, black men don't me? cheat, but no. I, 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 will, I will entertain your hypothetical conversation. When, no, that's when, right. when, yeah. when men cheat, it's for ego. Point of view. Yeah, you're right, because when you men mean? cheat, it's just for ego. When a motherfucker can wake up do so, when women I cheat, it's for ego. Because there's men out here that have sex with women, don't even, damn, I don't, they don't even remember. Mm-hmm. But yeah, women remember weird. every person they had sex with, why they had sex with them, when they had sex, what time it was, how many strokes and niggas, like, everything they remember. How do you define cheating? Cheating. It's oh. like, yeah, how, do you, how do you define cheating? So what let's just say Mo meets cheating? somebody and they just, you've been slacking, she's leaning on someone else, just having conversations. Is that cheating? Man, cheating is getting popped. So it's only sex. She's, no, it's not. <laughs> and give it head. Nah, cheating mm. is is entertaining foolishness. Any 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 sexual cause. Uh, so even you saying you're, you're having conversations with somebody, you out meet of someone, that's not so cheating. Th- everybody had a different perspective of cheating. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And we under we we both have our different you perspectives burp, of uh, oh, cheating. Let that shit out. You feel me? Let that burp out. <laughs> Put it on your shoulder, Mo. Come on, now. Pretty much. <laughs> I'm like, nah, he about to burp. I'm like, he's about to die because you could die from a burp and a sneeze. No, what? 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 You can't. Uh-oh. If you burp That's and sneeze I... together, you could die. No, they said, you know, when you sneeze, your heart stops for one second. That's why they say, God bless you, or. You know, I'm um, the lay, but if or if you or when you burp, like everything stops for one second, so you' supposed to let that shit out, or like a, get an air pocket, a gas pocket. What about when you sneeze and fart at the same time? It's, it's just uh, just check your just check your undies for oil. Check your undies for oil. So y'all not cheating on each other is the moral of the story. No, nah, but it's just like what's crazy is is that 
every show that we've been on because that's been the common I say I guess the common topic is always because we did what was that a show everybody said it's not love divorce and court right? we did love and mm-hmm. hip hop New York mm-hmm. we did couples court mm-hmm. and everybody said we saw y'all divorce court. I said bitch you lying because you don't even read because we wasn't on divorce court <laughs> so stop like I hate when people don't read or don't pay attention and they was like well yeah we been saying y'all hang y'all hang on in there and people that's never been married, not even in a solid relationship, don't, don't even have a good relationship with their family, their schoolwork, or anything. Like, people be calling themselves giving me advice. But you know, I've learned the best advice from we went to um, Kevin Hart's Irresponsible Tour. I was just like, one thing I've learned is what people hate or what people try to throw at you, just use that, make money off it. So everybody thinks he mm-hmm. cheated. Fine, let's go do a show. Let's get six figures and keep the fuck moving. Right. We're going to give you guys a show. And they be like, well, y'all said again. Yes, the fuck we are. Because we're <laughs> going to give you what you want to see. Because this is what you think is going on in this house. Soul. And at the end of the day, one thing I'm not going to let that I used to before because I was 12 years a slave to marriage. I, my first marriage was six years. My second marriage was six years. I said, I'm not going to do six, six, six. That's what I'm not doing this time. So we're going to try to. It's six coming it's like, up. It's like, yeah, six coming up, mm. us being together. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to let nothing that has anything. Thing to, that doesn't have anything to do with my daily routine, my children, the air I breathe, the clothes I wear, that doesn't have anything to do with that separate and divide us. I let people come between my relationships before. Shoot, every, you was right. You just said, well, damn, every time I turn around, you got a new husband. I say, stop turning around. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Dynamo, you from Philly, right? Of course. Okay, no. okay, okay, okay. Now, no what's going with, your, with, with boxing, man? Because you get busy as a boxer, but you don't seem like you box as, as much. No, um, I was out for three and a half years. Three and a half years. All right, I've never told this story mm-hmm. while I was out. You know, my last fight, the, uh, I had, um, <clears throat> I had lost a fight. And that was January 2015. After, at January 2015, I lost a fight. So, um, my baby in that fight, I fractured I bones in both of my hands. Mm. Oh shit! So, but you know, I don't, I don't put my injuries out there. I don't say nothing. You know, a lot of people be like, oh no, I lost because of this, because of that. Well, no, I actually broke one of my hands in the second round. So mm-hmm. I fought eight rounds basically with a broken hand. Mm-hmm. So. <clears throat> I took the whole, the rest of that year off. So I came back in 2016 and I was training. I was in California actually training with uh, one of my close friends, Victor Ortiz. Mm-hmm. I was out there training. And Sunday, we usually don't do nothing. Sunday, we just bull crap, we don't do nothing. So I get a phone call from AB. He like, yo, what up? He like, you in LA? I'm like, yeah. He like, yo, come on, we going to DJ Drama Party. I'm like, all right, bet. Want to go into the uh, DJ Drama Party? And some some wound up happening, and I wound up falling and hitting my back on the steps. I said, wow. On the steps, you know, somebody in our uh, in our section had dropped a bottle. And Tell the whole the truth. It was some thoughts over so, there acting extra. Some somebody, spill, yo, spill on you the wasn't floor. there. You somebody, told me. Okay, <laughs> I told you what I wanted you to hear. You better tell me the truth. So what happened was one of the uh, they um I don't they dropped the bottle and bust the bottle and like. So in penthouse, said, y'all, I don't oh, know if y'all, y'all y'all been in penthouse. Before. Yeah, yeah, huh? yeah. In LA, you know, you know, how he got the steps in the in the, in the section when you walk in and mm-hmm. back in the section. So you know, the floor is basically like marble or whatever. So <clears throat> I was going to the bathroom and I basically slipped down the step and my back hit the corner of the steps Ooh. and I mm-hmm. bruised my spine. Yikes! Yeah. So I imagine. Yeah, so I laid. So when it happened, I felt like shit. I'm gonna tell my wife. And I'm like I shit. At first, I couldn't feel board. nothing for about a good two seconds and I'm like shit so I want to getting up whatever but by the time it was it was a day party by the time it was over I was like fuck I'm fucked up mm-hmm. so I left the club and went straight to the airport and flew back to Philly to see my doctor like I I, I needed help sitting down I needed help standing up mm-hmm. I couldn't run I could barely walk yeah it took pictures like, so I, imagine you coming back fuck. Up. And I was out there Which training, I so I, I was, be- and I wasn't right. supposed to be doing what the fuck I was doing. Exactly. So that shit put me home. out for about another <laughs> year and a half. Damn. So a lot of people say, "Oh, you quit boxing? You didn't? No, I couldn't. I couldn't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I don't expose. Like, like, I don't even entertain that because at the end of the day, what was that going to do? So you done with it now? No, no right. just oh, come come on, on, Okay, come okay, on, okay. Oh, yeah. we back. So, who you want to fight though, Dynamite? Who could get them hands? Everybody can get these hands. Who you want next? Anybody can. I, truth be told, I don't even watch boxing, so I don't even know who's in my weight class. Mm-hmm. I we, fight. We, I fight one hundred thirty-five pounds. So, it's like, so I don't. I don't know who's in my weight class. I don't know who got the titles in my weight class. I I, I only watch chicken. boxing if Speaking I know existence. the person personally. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't even. I mean, only go to boxing fights if I know the person. I don't even watch boxing, so it's like anybody. Why don't you watch I boxing? Know. I would think that you'd have to study this. Study this. Sport. It's, it's like I've been doing it for so long, so. When them, when I'm able to get it off my mind, I'll get it off my mind because I need time to to miss it. 
because it was a point in my career where <clears throat> it was me, my brother, and two of my cousins, Tiger and Rock. Mm -hmm. And we were called the Four Horsemen. So we grew up together. We always motivate each other. So long story short, I'm the only one boxing. So it went from, you know, I'm excited to go to the gym, excited to be boxing, doing it by myself to like, oh, okay, here we go again. Let me go to the gym today. It's more of a job. I wasn't, exactly. It was more of like a job obligation or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, but taking them three and a half years off, it's like I got that hunger back. It's like, damn, I missed it. Mm -hmm. I never had time to miss it. You got to think. Over 20 years of training boxing with no layoff, with no taking no breaks at all. So it's now it's like a lot of people say, oh, you got older, you this, that, and third. I said, y'all understand, with athletes, the most important thing is rest. I may be 32, 33, but my body is still 22, 20. What about the lifestyle, though? Like, is this is nine something in the morning, you drinking liquor? Coca Cola at 17 30. Yeah, listen, saying? oh, of course. We, we all. This nigga's a freak of one nature. Thing, I'll one give thing, him one that thing about that is, yes, we all. That's what I'm saying. Well, damn. Drink every we time. all um, <laughs> cut corners. Yeah, Everybody yeah, yeah. cut. I don't like. It's very That's few what? people that I know that don't cut no corners. Mm -hmm. Like niggas, we all never smoke. I ain't never a lot drink, of times when the athletes do life. certain things, it's to keep them motherfucking sane. Mm. During that time that you were off for three and a half years, being that boxing is pretty much what you've known your whole life growing up. Right. What was that like for you mentally to think that you didn't know? What um, was that? That was some it some parts it was like, oh, all right, good. I'm glad I don't, I, I, I give myself time to miss it to make me want to do it again to make me want to do it. But then it was sometimes like. I would just TV the TV being on. I just see people box up like, oh my god, they fucking ass, man. I want to fucking fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, but this though, but these motherfuckers is corny, yo. Name them. Like, these motherfuckers is corny. Who corny? D Mike. Me, like corny. Every yo, like, these motherfuckers. Right. I am. Who corny? Who corny? Who corny? Who corny? No, who corny? that's what I do as a singer. A lot of people be like, these yo, who you can sing better? That's everybody. Like, Name somebody. For now, now motherfuckers is like, like it's kind of watered down now because back in the day, it's like. If I'm the champion, right, in Charlemagne, you're the number one contender, right? I'm support. You're my you mandatory. Listen, in. you're my mandatory. If I don't yeah. fight you, I got to give my belt up. You, if I give my belt up, you the number one. You and the number one and the number two got to fight for it. Yeah. Nowadays, I can give you some money to just step aside. Yeah. If you're not my mandatory, I can give you money to step aside. You feel me? Like, yeah. now they making up all these belts and everybody got Everything a belt. Everything is Motherfucker political. Around the corner getting coffee got a belt. Mm -hmm. But everybody like, wants to box. Man, like, everybody thinks it's, it's a quick paycheck. Like, Let's see Floyd. It's more, it's Ain't that more, crazy? It's, it's more of a business now than it is a sport, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, you, like you think that. other boxers uh, take you serious as a fighter because they see you on reality TV? Like you uh, think that you gotta get you? You know what's crazy? Probably not, and I and I want they them did. to stay that way. Yeah, yeah. They take you serious. But then at the end of the day, I won't know because motherfuckers won't try me because at the end of the day, I'm with the bullshit. But everybody like I don't give a fuck. When Marriage Bootcamp was on last week, from Philly. Danny was texting right us <laughs> like, "Yo, the show's crazy." Like people, oh, real talk, I'll punch in your yeah. mouth and then I'll pop the shit out you. That's all. Like, it is what it is. Now, like they know he can fight. Lil Mo, you think people are too sensitive nowadays? Super. They like, would I, never. I saw, so let's talk about Queen Naja and that whole situation. <laughs> Who? You don't no. think Queen Naja can sing, Mo? Why I didn't say that. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. What did I she never say? Said she was that. talking about a particular she didn't say that. instance. The I never full train performance. Right. And I didn't even see the whole performance. The way it was presented to me. Matter of fact, right before that, because I was with Jacquees, who's the king of R&B. Mm. <laughs> Y'all mad? this era. Oh, Y'all mad? He said, I'm not mad. That. He said no, it's because era. I no didn't one know else that he had, from this he era is doing that, anything. That, yeah. And that was like the same day we had the house. So I was like, talk your shit. I'm all, we all smoking a hype. <laughs> like, yeah, talk your shit, nephew. But I didn't realize that it was going to catch wildfire like that. It's crazy the stuff you want to go viral <laughs> don't, but the stuff that you just put out there just because your confidence is high and you grew up around family that, like, I don't know where people think I'm insecure at. I was raised with my mom and dad in the house. So mm -hmm. to me, can't nothing stop me. I'm all the way up. We've heard worse live singers than King Naj, Queen, Queen Naj, you know. See? No, what it is is that all right, when I got the um, footage, they sent me the Kelly Price video first. So I'm just like, oh, they got a cypher now. Now, when we had cyphers back in the R&B Live days, rest in peace to Ron Grant, when they, we call them past the mics, mm -hmm. they used to say, if you wasn't up there busting, you're not ready right. yet, baby. Your oil ain't set in. Or, like, you just not ready. That's almost like, just like with DJ, like, why just because motherfuckers, everybody think they can do Floyd it. After fight, why would you put a bum person in the, in the yeah, team? Yeah, everybody think they can do it. And I was just like, like, like with the, the, with the, situ with the situation, um, when I heard her part, I was like, wait, I know when I'm pregnant and I got a lot of kids, I don't sing. Because my uncle, all right, the backstory is, John P. Key is my uncle. That's mm -hmm. how I got my start in the game. That's who's suing her now for stealing his whole melody. Right. But that song, you don't have to love me. I don't know how her song go, but I know his gospel. 
But then when she was talking crazy about my uncle, talking about what, tell him he need to go preach the gospel or something. Whoa, 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 we not doing that. Since since when oh. is it okay to just disrespect the legends and the OGs? Mm -hmm. Now, there's some motherfuckers that get on my nerves, but I know if they came before me, you show them respect. Mm -hmm. I don't care what they do. It, you you just that, that level of respect has been eliminated because social media caps people up. Oh, because whoever popular think they could talk crazy. And you can't. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm one of those people that came. I came from under Sylvia Rome. I said something crazy about the label one time. She called me and was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> and I I cry. So it's just like now people are so, they think they're so high and mighty. You could talk to, nobody don't help me do shit. I do this shit all by my own, whatever. And I was like, no, you're not. It takes a team. It takes a machine. And because I know people, I know a lot of higher ups. It's a lot of people who still respect my opinion that you may not see on a regular basis that told me, oh, she treats people and her team treats people a certain way. If they find out that you're of importance or of someone of status, then they'll be nice to you. But if you think you're just regular, they're not going to speak. I hate people like that. I mm -hmm. hate people like that. And that's what I heard about that team. But I was just like, all right, well, maybe they just hype because, you know, that's what YouTube. My kids love her to death. My daughters was like, you know, I didn't even put two and two together that that was the one from the YouTube show. But then I was just like, yo, like, shorty, if you get up there and you pray, I'd have been like, nah, let me just sing my song and do my set. Y'all can say this cypher till I had this baby because my diaphragm ain't right. Because clearly it looked like she ain't want to be there. Mm -hmm. But it's motherfuckers like Yebba Smith, uh, Sarah, Clara Sargent. It's so many people that I think that opportunity would have been perfect for who have a, a cult-like following just because they're not popular and no disrespect just because they ain't all the way light-skinned. Because it still is that line of light-skinned versus dark, jigaboo versus good and bad hair like we saw on school days is very prevalent in the industry why because i still have to deal with it i'm i guess i've been labeled as the ghetto poster child but now ghetto is acceptable so i'm just like okay good i i paved that way i remember they used to tell me to hide my tattoos i remember I, at first i, I when i wore my braids <laughs> what i got a hard time for that so it was just like yo just just pay homage but then when people get on the internet you try to say yo what I would have done was told them if I'm gonna perform let me perform my set y'all can say that cypher for something else boom boom then I get my publisher cause then it airs on TV or whatever but no she performed and then because I have this thing like the committee and plus I tell the truth I come from radio people think just cause I'm a singer I don't got an opinion bitch this is my line of work so right now you my co-worker and I'm telling you how to navigate in cause you'll be here hot this summer next summer nobody won't give a fuck I've been doing this consistently for 20 years I take my breaks I come in and out and I'm getting older but a bitch can still sing the same notes from when I first came talk out talk your shit Mo yeah I could talk heavy because <laughs> talk I, that but, shit because, but I've been around the Whitney Houston Mo got Houston's. a new song out right now yes. she's still sound with incredible Ka yeah, with Wiz Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa. And I'm cussed still, out every morning. Mm -hmm. Who? Me. Oh, I thought you were about to say by my No, but it's just at the end of the day, it's just like you just gotta pay respect. And then her boyfriend need to catch a fade. He he better be careful because then one of the blogs had posted up Lil Mo then I was like, uh, oh, they always uh, wrong with it. On that. Well, he got a fade coming. Damn, Dynamite. He don't want that one. He don't. He don't want that one. No, he don't. Be no, because he tells me don't join in men's business. No, no, I said men no, shouldn't join in female business. You got a fake coming. No, he no, no but what, I, what I, I tell her is this. You gotta understand. All right, look. Me, be, me so being from the streets, right? Me being from the streets. That's never my But son, it's still gotta be explained. Because now you put that out there. Something happened. Who they gonna come to? And it's premeditated now. Exactly. So I tell her to just chill. You mean she want everything done on her time when she went to Hollywood? That's right. Because if somebody disrespect, if if she would have said something, he disrespected you. I didn't see that. No, somebody. It's it about, up, he was like, who that? Bitch, you know who it is. I tell her, it's all, it's all about oh, acting, being not reacting. That's a conversation. That's now, a hold conversation. Hold on now, Mo. You can't get the man beat up. It's all a conversation. I didn't say, no, no, no. no. I said, if they, maybe I'm in a haircut. That's a conversation. Because you got to be too. The kid, he probably said, 20 it's about, years old. It's about, I told her, it's about acting and not reacting. Right. When you react, you go on your emotions. When you act, you find the right way to do the wrong thing. Well, I'm an emotional being, and I don't care because you see, I ain't flinch when I said it, but when men join the female. But when the shit go down, I'm the one that's. I'm who said you had to do? Who said I ain't already got a handle? I'm always you trust don't. and believe. Trust and believe. You know, you know, you don't go do nothing to handle nothing with what I was going through me. All right, say no more. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, nobody ain't gonna be talking to me crazy on the internet. He just said who that though. That's just Cause you question. know who it is. That's just a conversation. But he's a little kid. Yeah, These kids really don't be knowing more. And my kid's not allowed to well, disrespect. Might, he might have said it to me. Well, then he shouldn't have done the fuck on him. He was trying to be funny. He was trying to catch. He was trying to defend his woman. And he ain't know that I'm on that type time. That's just a conversation. That's just a dynamite. Just put just put an arm around his neck. Let me talk to you for a second. Give me a second. I heard you was ducking my mom's and shit. That's my wife. I heard you was ducking my mom's and shit. One thing is just like, you know, I don't think men should join in female conversations and females shouldn't join in male conversations. Now, Mo, do you miss doing radio? Because I always felt like you were such a great radio Thank you. personality. And I, I got fired. To you. And I got fired because I got thrown under the bus. So I'm All honestly, the greats get fired, Mo. 
No, 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 some and motherfuckers thinking they, yeah, fuck out of here, nigga. That's why I'm just like, oh, but you could you could throw that fade. Yeah. But all right. What? Yeah. Yeah. So what? Tell us the story. No, no, what it is is that I've saved a lot of people. Don't say no, we ain't doing no free promo. I mean, what it is is I've saved people's ass from DJ sexual so harassment bad. cases and everything. Because it goes down behind the scenes. Everybody think it's just Robert and it's not. So I've saved people from Robert. a lot. What happened now? Yeah. Robert Kelly? R. Kelly, she's talking like, about. Like, if, if they got thought, like, this is going to be saving people from yeah. sexual harassment. Oh, niggas is molesting yeah. little girls? Honestly, no. I... It gets to the she's point where it's say, I ain't seen nothing. Verbal but why? Why not if like, you did see something? Because when that's your partner, like... You right. You right. Yeah, exactly, but... Like, if I ever saw you do some nut shit, remember on Guns and Butter, on uh, Boy, Baby Boy, he clinked the gun? Mm -hmm. If I fuck with you, I fuck with you. And I'm going to tell you, okay. one of my OGs that's honestly <laughs> younger than me, she told me, she was like, Mo, you got to pick pe better people to ride for. I said, why you say that? It's like, because... like, And this makes me fucking cry because I always have people's fucking back. Nobody don't be having mine. I am tight. Tighten up. Cause that shit be making me mad. I hate when people ruin their opportunity. Then you just like, yo, the fuck with y'all. Like, what is y'all doing? They know what goes on in the industry. Who Which these is, niggas? Mo. Everybody is all of them, my nigga. Mo's a really loving person. Like Mo. And That's my last name. Mo is Cynthia a really loving, loving, loving hard person. For you. Like, like I do. What's your sign? And you I always tell her, I'll be the bad guy. I gotta he be the bad Gemini, guy because she. So you she know it's lit in our oh, house. Man. But at the end of the day, when I say when I ride for somebody, thank you. Because I ain't want my you lashes know, to come off. These shits is lit. <laughs> um, when I ride for you, I ride for real. But it's a lot of people out here. And, and people are just like, you, you're covering them. And then it's just like, well, who gonna cover me? And then I thought about that. I said, you know what? And it was just about me and my team. That's why when somebody say something crazy about my husband on the internet, I be really wanting to fight. Because I'm like, yo, he don't bother nobody. Mm -hmm. He didn't ask to be called Little Mo's husband. Shit. He had his own lane. He had his own boxing lane. That, that's, I understand. And when we walk in you the house, the way them energy. kids be hyped when they see their dad, you think I'm gonna fuck that up? Nah, I fucked you that up before. Energy. I tell you, waste your energy on that because... That's yes, like talking though. to invisible people. You would never see them. You would never. Mm -hmm. So what the yeah, fuck is going on? Yeah, nobody ever says that in real life. They holler. The highlight of their life is, and yo, look, yo, people respond. be sneaking. Lil Mo said something back people to me. People have sent me. My husband will go out. He'd be like, I'm going to go. Because he'd be like, I'll be like, what well, can I go? He's like, you can't go everywhere with me. I was like, but you're my best friend. So then he'll go out. Then it'd be like two in the morning. I'd be like, all right, well, I know Philly Clubs is closing. You should be bringing it on in. <laughs> you ain't got to do no morning show. Get your ass home. Then people will send me a picture. Oh, I saw your husband here. I'm just like, what kind of weird shit is that? Restaurant one time, right? That shit so is weird. I went in. The, actually, I went in the restaurant. I went in the what was it? Friday. The hookah. Remember that time? I went in Friday, so I was it getting was some somewhere. food. So she was like, um, "Oh so yeah, that's the thing." She like, "Yo, look pregnant. what somebody sent me." Woo! I'm like, I'm looking. I, I'm standing. I'm at the bar at Friday's ordering food, but I'm standing next to. It's some girl that's sitting. But they didn't. I don't even know. I don't even. I don't even know who the who, who it was. But I was with my mom, yep, and my, my, husband, uh, yeah. my my sister, and my niece. So they like, well, who this girl he with? It's not little Mo. Or they'll walk like, up to him and be like, where Mo at? He'd be like, yo, the chill fuck the fuck you think fuck she out. Is. Like, I hate that that's shit. Like, you ain't got to tell me nothing. That keep you on point knowing everybody yeah, watching. No, it don't that. because that's that weird shit because yo, the same ones who be saying be that, smart. I be saying, they be trying, they be trying to, smart. yeah, they, they be, be trying. Try try so yeah. back to that, would you want to do radio again? Or are you? Honestly, yeah, nah. I I like TV better. I like radio. I like the dynamic. but radio, man. Radio, it's so much, it's so much politics and Honestly, I would have to do my own show. I can't I can't be with nobody else because the way I move, because I have inside connects. Like when something happens, I'll be like, yo, da 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 da, mm -hmm. I get them right on. Motherfucker gotta like be on that level. You gotta, it's, it's levels to it. Mm -hmm. And what's crazy is like when everybody used to come to the station, they would show like mad respect. They'd be like, yo, like, oh man, I didn't even low. put, yeah, like, mm -hmm. oh shoot. The whole dynamic changed, but then mm -hmm. a lot Other of people. Hosts, they'd be like, he got to say, yo, oh, you remember when I did this? Oh yeah, I remember nobody you from that. Don't nobody know you. I thought you was going to be a lawyer, Mo. I am. Yeah. Okay. But you have to take, you can't just be like, all right, I'm going to be a lawyer tomorrow. You got to go to You have to pick which, like, side of lawyering you want to do. Mm -hmm. And then you have to go through all this testing. So because I didn't take the SAT when I was in high school, but I graduated early, I got to go back and take the SAT. But I think I know what, and everybody thinks I'm going to be an entertainment lawyer. Fuck the music industry. <laughs> what kind of law are you going to do? I honestly, I don't want to do tax attorney. I want to do, I want to be defense attorney. Wow. Because I sat, what, this, the epiphany I had was 
what, what was it? When Mayo was, I went to a uh, a Fed yeah, trial my for yeah. six weeks. Went there every day. Was there all the time and sat there. And I was just like, everybody, yo, the Feds is on my ass. No, you just went not. to watch. Yeah. Well, it was it was his it was family. Jerry, oh, okay. So I went every day and I sat there and I was just like, yo, this is crazy. If again. the government wants you and you getting wild money for real money. They see everything so back to 2004. To yeah, but people be thinking the Feds is watching. The Feds is not watching you, sis. You know what I'm saying? Or oh, people be like, they see everything. Like they had, uh, they had cameras everywhere, and it was just like so surreal to me. And I was yeah. just like, wow. The so they're they gonna shocked. give. They gave somebody 20 years for weed from 2004. But mind you, people out here raping, robbing, killing, stealing, doing all this. When they and want I you, said they want for you. weed. Yeah. For weed? What happened to the dude Mayo? How, how much time you no, got? He um no he, he beat um, it. He got uh, he had a hung jury, but well, hung they, jury. They, they, they 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 gonna try him again. He gonna and trial. he said we ready go right now. Like when you go trial. against the United that, that's States. That's when I first ran into her, her, that was my that was my people. Would you and like, Mayo? Like when I like, got like when I was like balls. sixteen, you know, when you a minor, if, if you in the feds, if I mean if they can't get you, they'll go after your parents. So, yeah, my, they went after my mom and everything. So I was like shit. Yeah. It be getting real. Mo, what do you think of the fabulous situation, Mo? Because I remember they gave oh, me some flack getting... over that. Yeah, they gave me a lot of um, heat over that. One thing I would say is because I don't get involved with goes on in people's homes, but once it makes the internet, and because like he's real close to my y'all know like you was just working in Vegas, bitch, yeah, yeah. performing, yeah. and he helped a bucket list dream of mine come true. Like I've never been to Dre's before, so that was my first time going never there and performing. Never. Wow. Last time we went out there, he was there with Chris Brown and them, and I was pregnant. So I was like, "Damn it, I'll never get to go." Jesus and they man. wanted we was gonna go tonight before after the fight. They was like fifteen thousand table. I was like, "Well, the way my bank account is set it up, <laughs> check it." So yeah, and AB wasn't gonna say fuck that. We ain't running his tab up. <laughs> Hello. So I was like, "Yeah," and just to go, and he was like, "Yo, you want to rock out?" And he was like, well, I gotta warm up. Nah, they threw me the mic and we got it in. And just to see the millennials, the 24s and under, no like rocking and singing. I was just like, yo, like that felt amazing. So one thing I refuse to allow this industry or anybody do is to taint his legacy because back in, shoot, back in, when was he doing Clue Mixes? Was that 97, 98? Yep. Yep. Around 96, 97, yep. So yeah. for those years, I was listening to those mixtapes. So you mean to tell me if somebody's just all of a sudden this monster that y'all like, don't, don't, don't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not, because if something happens to the head of the house, the rest of the family struggles and suffers. Keep that shit in your house. Trust me, it could, it could be something worse. And it, it wasn't my business, so at the end of the day, I'm not gonna let nobody go out as a abuser and as a what, whatever they're calling him. We I'm not letting that happen. one of them speak on it yet. Yeah, because that's, it's that's nobody honestly, it's nobody's own. business. Exactly. And, I, and I spoke to her, because I love her dearly. But at the end of the day, I'm just like, don't let his legacy be taken by this because if it's, I don't know what everybody else does for a living, and Fashion Nova is not cutting that many of checks that could sustain the lifestyle. <laughs> I'm not, try, and I'm really not trying to be. Funny. I'm just like saying, like, listen, you got to You got to protect the king, the queen. You that's have a, to protect the king. That's a very interesting perspective because you weren't you a victim of domestic violence before. No, nah, niggas ain't never hit me. One hmm. time my baby father had, no, nah, I stabbed him. I thought that was an old No, man. when I had got hit in the head, that yeah. was They're still old living, one. yeah. No, nah, I was attacked in uh, San Francisco. That was 01. But I don't know how that happened. To this day, that's why I'm just like, we still haven't found oh, out the that. assailant. Oh, so that but, wasn't a the relationship you was talking No. Oh, all right, I got I you. I don't know how that happened. Ain't no nigga that hit me. And her husband was with her. You both had some comments about R. Kelly. Too. And and I, did you watch the docu? I didn't watch you the docu. Three it. things. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch the docu thing. What, did, what, did, what did you say the about docu it? I said I ain't watch it. I ain't oh. never met him in real life. But I ain't mutant shit because it ain't got nothing I, to do I with took me. You to go what see I the said. Show, but we was late. <laughs> oh yeah, but I've never met him a day in real life. What? But because what I said, what I did comment on, I said, well, R. Kelly is. If we're gonna throw him under the bus, let's just let's raise the bus up a little because there's a couple more people that need to go on it. I remember when certain artists. I'll just tell you from my point of view, I know uh, a and I, I won't put their name out there. I'll save it for my book. No, I'm just kidding. Um, they invited me to their room, and I, I went, but I had two niggas with me. I ain't pulling up alone. My mama raised me too thorough to be, nah, I ain't, I ain't never mess with no rapper. People, oh, you love niggas. I know you was, no, I wasn't. Can't nobody, one thing, that's what Irv Gotti told me, don't never let nobody taint your legacy. And he was like, you, you safe, Mo. You ain't got no, you don't have no stripes. You don't have no shit. 
most people could say is that Mo always Mo always talking about somebody, but no, I'm just like just letting you know this is what people are saying, and it's how we can um clear it up. Cause I always be trying to Olivia Pope situations. That's why I know it's meant for me to be a lawyer because at the end of the day, I know how to fix things. That's how my dad raised us. We would read books on Monday, Friday we had to write an essay and we had to talk about it. Like we had family meetings, discussions. So I'm just like with the industry because it's like the high high school. Everybody's so childish and just so fucking lost. Are you consciously not watching the docuseries? Like, I don't Ain't nothing know. I want... I don't really want to see it. I haven't watched it either. You, you I, I'm, I'm like, what I want to see? Yeah, I watched it. Because, because... You watched I, it? Yeah. I watched was it good? They was like, if you see it, it's going to make you feel you a certain way. Is, it, it, it's, I mean, it, it makes you look at him as a monster, but not only that, is you have a different conversations with your daughter. But see, I was molested. Mm. So... My parents didn't find out until I was on R and B Divas when I when we did the Diva Law. Was it by a family member? No, it was by somebody we went to church with. Damn. Mm. And he molested my sister too. And my sister told, and my cousin had told him, touch my family again, I'm gonna blow your fucking head off. And he stopped. So Where's he at now? He's still around? But he's like a like is I don't know where he is, but they said like he has yeah, like so still, many health problems. Around. But they said he was molesting his, his wife's son. She mm. showed me his and, ass one day. And he was like damn near falling apart, so and I was like, That's doing that. "It's not you ain't gonna get no you ain't gonna get no." I was about to anyway, <laughs> but you can't understand <laughs> why rip. women don't come rip. forward right away, like honestly, said, like, or want to be very vocal about it because until... because when you're young and it happens, you either they say it's, you either become promiscuous or you become a recluse. I became a recluse, so I wore big clothes. I didn't start wearing dresses and tight jeans till I joined the music industry. I never wore like I just became sheltered and shut in and stuff like that. So. But at the end of the day, I realized that's why they didn't trust men for a long time. Mm. And yeah, so I, I wouldn't say it was no confusion, but I was like, well, maybe I'm going to end up with a girl. Then I was like, oh, God, girls get on my nerves. How don't you niggas do it? <laughs> so then I was just like, you know what? Then I just started, I'll say, shoot, when I would go through things in relationships, I started like self medicating That's when I, was the time I went, I was on drugs real bad. I didn't even want to talk to my family because I was like, I didn't want them to see me like that. Like what, weed or pills? Uh -huh. Pills, everything. Damn. That's why you have to think. Women go through things at a young age and don't realize how much it affects them until sometimes way later in life. Like, that's but, why I did that. But as a parent, it's, it's a, it's a lot of as, things as that women parent, go through that they, they don't tell, you that don't they talk don't tell about nobody. Because we have always feel like we're the lesser. That's why when people say, oh, you be emasculating your husband, I'll be like, no, I don't. He just knows my pain, and that's the way that I could communicate. I'll be like, yo, that shit, don't do that shit because my Napoleon complex, all that shit starts kicking in. And he's honestly the only, he's my, you know, the calming pet. He's my, cal like, he's my calm. He knows if I'm about to lose it, like, you got to get me out of here. Or else I'll start, like, fucking spazzing. And he knows how to just calm down more. He knows how to calm me down. So I won't risk that. But a lot of women, what well, I would say as a mom, even with my daughters, like my daughter had to go to her first o, uh, GYN appointment because I was just like, I mean, once they started their periods, I think that's where you should go. And I was just like, oh my God, like if did anybody touch you, anybody mess with you? Like my son, he's three and he's potty trained. But when he first went to school because he was nervous, he was like, he won't let nobody touch. Like, don't touch my butt. Daddy they had to call us. <laughs> and he's like, my dad said, no, but you can't touch my butt. Right. You can't touch my wee wee. Like, don't play my that. Daddy, and I'm very me. overprotective of my children. So with that R. Kelly situation, what, like, what did the parents, like, are you serious? That's crazy. I mean, the what parents, I mean, it's, it's crazy because the parents, it, it seems like that, you know, even though they heard the allegations and what was going on, they still invited it to their kids to meet R. Kelly because they, wanted their kids to be a star. They were more concerned with their kids. Yeah, but you situations. can't blame the parents They're, for the actions of a grown ass man. There was one, there was yeah, one family. Him. They yeah. didn't even but, know But I'm not dropping my was, kids off at the If y'all know, know what's going on, why there. would y'all go with that? Took her. That's, but see, but that's the thing too. It's like, yeah, we used to say that means he was if, fast. Yeah, R. Kelly, he's, he's definitely he a predator. Fast. And they're definitely victims, but you know, as a parent, you have a responsibility as well. Like it, but, like my yeah. kid is not going to know R. Kelly and staying with R. Kelly alone. It's just not happening. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Know, like Lil Mo, you got to think growing up. I'm sure there's things you did. Your parents had no idea what you was. Really you know what's doing. crazy is I I had so much fear of my parents and of God. I didn't start cursing until I was 17. Till I got out of school. Cause I know so for I was me, like, I, and even to this day, I'm drinking on here, but <laughs> it's certain things I'm like, I don't want my dad to see it. My pops and mom still check me every once in a while. Exactly. Like, my mother like, be like, who you talk to? Because yeah. like, I came home from school, my parents were both at work, so whatever I do, how would they really have known you didn't fear your dad, what I was doing? I, mean, I think y'all mean like the the parents that were actually dropping the so kids the off see, my dad, at R. Kelly yeah, house. Dropped them to R. You know what's house, crazy? That took them to the studio. That w that allowed them to record with him and stay with him. Do and they like, didn't they stay there. That's that's where they that's, had a pocket. I still give them ten percent blame though, because I no, mean that I man is a grown ass man who made his own this. decision. Like, yeah. Well, who was around watching monitor R. Kelly? Because I'm gonna tell you, my dad used to drive me from when we lived in Fayetteville, North Carolina, to Charlotte every Wednesday, Friday, and would pick me up on Sunday because I went to tour 
on tour with my uncle John Key. So I was still in high school when I was touring. But he dropped me off and my he would say, she's good. I never came home with no issues. Mm -hmm. And he went, well, I got to be on the road, this and that. But when we was at rehearsal and then had, my dad was there. But when we go on the road, you can't go. But at the end of the day, my dad told him, like, I trust you. So don't let nothing happen to my daughter. Right. And he told him, and my husband told her, I'll die before I let something happen to her. And a lot of the women said that they were targeted because they were vulnerable, too. Like, I always say this, and I'm going to be real, real. People tell everything they want to. They'll get on social media, motherfucker this, motherfucker that. But then when it comes to their truth, they don't want to have shit to say. One thing about me is I'm very vocal. If I do some dumb shit, I'm going to say it. Matter of fact, I'm going to beat you to the punch. So these motherfuckers, they, so a lot of people waited. Like, why? my whole question is, they put out, why now? Why now? Well, one of the women testified 10 years ago in court, and so she was being questioned again. And I think for some women, they don't feel empowered enough to do that. Like, he's a powerful person. They actually How, Where's his power? From what? Because he sing a couple songs? Because some people want to be in the fight? industry, and they feel like that he's going to shut them down. And he and had think, them sign all kinds of agreements. And I think when one comes out, it gives a, it gives a lot of women yeah. that have but the courage for the more. Cur I was about and to say, you feel like it's not just me. Or some of them might be, people. they don't want to sit down because they may feel embarrassed. If it might be embarrassed I mean, about yeah, what? Are. Crazy. And he would film all of them so that he could. What? Be, be but able these to bitches is going to Dubai, which I heard I don't know is true. If they tried to say anything. They said these girls is going to Dubai, they sliding in DMs, because I got one talking about, hey, do you want sugar daddy? No, bitch, I don't want no sugar daddy. Yeah, but I have these a not all Kelly daddy. victims, though. I've but seen, they, I've they seen said the them girls contracts. be going. They said them young girls be going, <laughs> no, and they bro, want they them young. No, they the guy, the, the sheiks in Dubai and stuff, those yeah, guys in Dubai. Be they want, and they want you contracts. younger, they want you a yeah, birth, you get at least a half a million dollars, yeah. and they film it. So I'm just like, what? if you yeah. you gonna, gonna if you gonna blow the whistle, blow it. Like, don't just blow. Yeah, they pause. get threatened. A lot of them girls getting threatened. Our people's allegedly threatened. But he them, did, he did them film them, like them so shit. that he could embarrass you by putting out a videotape that's humiliating for you, that you're scared that people are gonna see. Yeah, we can't, we can't. Little R. Kelly is the blame for R. Kelly. Like, there's nobody else to blame for R. Kelly. No matter you're right. Yours. I'm still confused. Right. He had a whole no matter wife how we want to look at it, like whether they want to say something now or or then, like there's nobody. Like, like, Kelly, is, everybody is accountable for really that action. A, a, you know, a backbone in, in saying because she was she was the same though. She couldn't come out. She had to get permission to come out and eat. She had to get permission to go to the bathroom. What? Who raised them? Yeah, she that's had, what I'm she had saying. To get permission. Who like, raised these people? There were stories. This is all allegedly that you know. There's that's sometimes what I'm saying. You were fortunate to have your there, parents yeah. raise so you. Some the, people don't have. The wife was just the title. She was the same. So then and why? You know, and you know how? Because I don't. Y'all be thinking I'm drawn. Yeah, but I just, it, I just, it's like, how does that happen? Because but you're you know strong. how you know how power and influence can manipulate people. Right, you're strong. He knows who he's going at. He's going for the weakest person because he knows that they're weak, that they're insecure, that they won't do anything, that they have no father figures. So that's who he's attacking. Yep. But they fathers was dropping. Didn't they just say the fathers and Some the mothers was dropping them off? Some so it sounds like wh what I heard in the industry, they was just like, some of the people was part of his bed. They was willingly bringing oh, them yeah, in. You had, you and they know he had an issue. So they, just like with the, mm -hmm. with the industry, like, they know, like, oh, this person, like, go, I'm going to keep on feeding them what they like. And they hold that on, uh, against you. I'll and, give you an example, right? Like, like Dynamite's a box. Yeah. Right? What if somebody came to Dynamite and it was like, yo, I want you to train my young daughter in boxing. They know that they could leave Dynamite. Dynamite would train and that would be it because Dynamite ain't a sick motherfucker. Yeah. But he ain't going to be molesting the, the kids. So mm -hmm. that's why I say it's really all on R. Kelly. Like, it's not on the parents. But then the whole thing, then the whole thing too is, first of all, you don't just leave your kids with anybody because they're a superstar. That's that's out of pocket. Right. I, I wouldn't want nobody. Too. I've had people I don't, because of the way I carry my business where people are like, can you take a picture of my kid? I'm not holding your baby because if the baby, like, what if, I'm sick, and yeah. then I transferred it. Yo, you know what Payla Bell told me? I was like, one time I drink it, and she's like, uh-uh, throw that cup away, because you'll leave it there, somebody will drink it, and break the glass, and cut their lip, or do some dumb shit, and then try to sue you. When I say it's just certain things, I'm just like, maybe I just think two, ten steps ahead for shit to even backfire. Even with my husband, I'll be like, be careful, because even a follow, these bitches think y'all go together. Next thing you know, they'll start this, and next thing people be saying, that is the words that people are using are very oh my god a career and the people are using the word rape as if it's like as if it's like saying good morning the way they use it like that shit scares me R. Kelly is if, if, he, you, uh, he's a he's a pedophile yeah, yeah. and that's crazy but and people I'm only saying allegedly because he's like the Sue but yeah, we seen the tape allegedly, yeah. he married Leon she was you 15 you know what's and when I was oh that was another thing they when said, I was in um, ready I was pregnant with my daughter I was pregnant with my daughter Heaven and I remember um and 
Steve was the program director there, and that's when I had my first show. So that was like 16 years ago. So people been new, everybody just forgot about it, and they reboarded it up. I don't know why. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because if they got him, they about to get everybody. And I'll tell you why. Well, I'm they just got like, Michael Jackson doc premiere at Sundance but, this week. And then they got Usher talking about the ball, saying he got herpes. So, like some shit is just weird to me. Yeah, like, but like I was pregnant was on the air, and it was just. I, I remember I did a break. I was just like. um, when we come back, we're going to talk about this. R. Kelly said to child, they said it's whatever, I, lit or whatever. Don't you know, before my show was over, that was like at the 2 o'clock hour because I was setting up my hourly breaks. When we was in the mix, the feds came to the radio station, and they said to me, they was like, we heard that you're in possession of the R. Kelly, whatever. And Child's I was like, yeah. and I was just like, no, I said, I just did that as a break. He said, well, if you or someone you know who's that's in possession crime. of it, yes, that is a federal offense. In Baltimore, that happened? Yes. That's child wow. pornography, yeah. Yeah, that's child pornography. Child pornography. And so everybody, I saw the tape, like technically, you've committed yeah, a federal offense. Yeah, 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 I'm so glad I see the tape. I, I would want to see a man, what they said, peeing or dookie on or somebody. Peeing. Like, that's, that's no, bodily that's clues. You, that's biohazard. That's, yo, that's, that's out of pocket for him even doing that. Even if a woman asked him to. Like, and if, they, if that happened 16 years ago, we should have we should have like, muted him out of then. pocket. Well, but everybody went, was dancing two weeks ago, so three weeks to, ago. He went to trial for it and he beat Found it because the girl still, it wasn't her. Everybody, yeah, but oh. everybody saw the tape. Now you're right. Everybody saw the tape. Everybody knew he married Aaliyah. But people really believe that it was that. We need to all stop making excuses. Like because he beat it and she said it wasn't her. Because it's a different day and age. But I also think it's a black man going against the white court system, black people were supporting the black man regardless. I never thought that. I, I think a lot I of people... I thought he was sick from the same beginning. Same thing with OJ. The same thing with OJ. People didn't care if OJ did it or not. They just wanted him to beat that case. Well, the real problem is the girl they said was on the tape said it wasn't her. And her family members said it wasn't her too. And then he said it wasn't him. He said it was his brother. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. Is that the brother that said the 16-year-old yeah. sister was raping him? He was 16-year-old. Do oh. you know what that does mentally to a child? Like... My mom used to tell me, and now I, I know, understand. She used to say, "You there. never know what you never know what situation right. people are going home to," mm -hmm. and that's why I just like I won't say we may look like we we oh how the fuck y'all need to fix that shit. Da -da -da -da. One thing about them kids, they on an honor roll, and they ain't mentally like people don't check. It's you true. gotta check on your kids. Don't Absolutely. let them lock. You can't lock no door. Uh, uh, open that door. Why y'all so quiet? Don't play with me. Let's 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 transition to another very yeah. serious situation. Oh What's shit. That? How do you feel about uh, Meek Mill trying to destroy the legacy of Lace Fronts? What happened with that? He said, let me read the tweet. He said, Meek said. <laughs> I'm about to really Meek about to said, cry. Lace Front wigs are whack. I'm protesting them. Everybody is he everybody has their own opinion. Nobody's opinion is wrong, right or wrong. Well, bitch, mine's was falling. A I thought he bit. was. I didn't but, think he but, had a hard fight. Uh, some women, some, I'm going to tell you, some he women probably, would take offense of that and feel some type of way, but. <laughs> he's a right, has a right to his own opinion. You mean he's not right? He's not wrong. That's his opinion. But, what do you think, Mo? Meek is just hilarious. Like he, just, <laughs> I think he said it as a joke, and he people did. took it and ran with they it. Sure did. But what was the bad experience? He, I didn't even know about. He said this. he was hitting something from the back. So he was hitting a little John from the back. And he reached for her head. He, 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 he did a little jaw on the back. He didn't say that. He didn't say that. I promise you. And the wig came off. He tweeted it. He said, Then I blame the stylist because your wig not supposed to move. Mine's been sliding, but it ain't coming off. It was a few weeks ago. This motherfucker is on there. Shit. We appreciate you guys for joining us, man. Thank you. And Little Mo has a new song, by the way, that we about to play right now. Introduce it right now, Mo. Oh, it's called The Plug. So, this is Little Mo. This is a new song by the way that we about to play right now. Introduce it right now, Mo. Oh, it's called The Plug. So, this one is the clean version. And it's not with Wiz yet because I'm waiting for Atlantic to stand over the clearance. But uh, this is the plug, and it's a diss record against my husband because. God damn. We doing my who can? I'm team dynamite, is? man. It's got to stop, Mo. Why are you doing this man like plugs. that? Yes, when the plug. But, but you got to understand. But, gotta <laughs> understand. but listen, y'all got to understand, though. <laughs> He loves it. I too. like the song, and do like it. Like, she got to go do. through me to get the clearance to even put the song out. <laughs> oh, she sampled you? When the sugar night is me? going on? <laughs> she got to go through me to put the song out. I could have said easily said, no, I cut that. I well, introduce it, Mo. Go ahead. The plug will unplug, yeah. The plug will unplug. The plug will unplug. The plug will unplug. Yes. Well, my nine-year-old right son now. on there, too. Yeah, my son Justin's on there. Really? Yes. Well, let's get to it right now. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning.